In this video, we are going to see how to send an email when a form is submitted in Jot form. So here we have taken the example of Jot form, which is a form builder application. You can choose any other form builder application. So every time a new response is received here. So let's say that it is a new registration form where the person has filled the name, email address, contact number, etc. So you have received the email address here. All you have to do is you have to integrate Jot form with Gmail and then you would be automatically able to send an email to that particular email address. How can that be done? So integrate the two applications using Pabli Connect software. Here your trigger application would be Jot form and your action application would be Gmail. Now how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and as we do that, here we have reached the landing page of the software. On the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, simply sign in. If you are the new user, click on this tab, sign up. It won't take more than two minutes. And also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. So now I'm going to click on sign in and here we have reached all applications page. Let's click on access now for Pabli Connect. And as we do that here, we have reached the dashboard of this application. On the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this and a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here, my objective is that let's say that we have got a form builder application, which is Jot form. And every time the form is filled, we have received a new response and automatically a mail should be sent to the person who has filled the form. So I'm going to write send an email when a form is submitted in Jot form. Let's click on create. As we do that here, we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. Basically, action is the response of what happens in our trigger. In this integration, our trigger application would be Jot form. Let's click on this and the trigger event. So this is the event that will make my workflow run. So the event would be new response. So this workflow is going to trigger every time a new response is received. Here you can see it is written that this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time. This basically means that this trigger application has got no polling time. The moment we receive a response automatically, the workflow is going to run and it is going to send us the response. Now, here you can see that we have received a webhook URL. This is going to act as a bridge for connecting Pabli Connect with Jot form. So now I'm going to copy this and then we have to follow the help test given where it is written open your form in the form builder and click on the settings tab. Go to the integrations, search for webhook and paste the above URL in add webhook field. So now I'm going to take you to my Jot form account. I have already logged in over here and this is the form that I have created. I'm going to click on edit form. As I do that here, you can see this is the form and I have named it as registration form. We have the following fields, name, email address, phone number and subject chosen. So let's say that this is a registration form for a third language. So where you have to choose your language. Okay. What we have to do is we have to go to settings. Then on the left hand side, you would be able to see integrations. Let's click on this. Now here we have to look for webhooks. So here it is. And here I'm going to paste this URL that we have received through Pabli Connect. Let's paste this and complete integration. So as we do that, here we can see that our integration is ready. Now I'm going to go back to the form and here let's click on preview form. So here is the form right in front of you. Now it is said that you have to do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. So now I'm going to fill up this form. So let's say the first name is demo. The last name is user. Email address is demo user at pablitudes.com. And then we have the mobile number. And as I go down, let's say the subject chosen is French. Now I'm going to click on submit. As we do that here, we can see our submission has been received. Going back to Pabli Connect, let's see if we have received the response. And yes, here it is. So this is the webhook URL. Then we have the username, submission ID. Then as I take you down, these are the details, the mobile number, email address. This is the last name, first name, subject chosen. 
and this is a registration form so we have received this entire information now what is my objective i want to send this person a mail let's say it is a registration successful mail so i'm choosing my next application as gmail let's click on this and the action event here would be to send email let's click on connect here Pabli connect is asking to connect itself with the gmail account so let's select add new connection then connect with gmail here we have to select the account once done Pabli connect wants to access my google account so this is absolutely secure i'm going to click on allow and here you can see that the authorization has been successful which means that Pabli connect is now connected with email once this is done, we have to map this information. Now, what is mapping? Mapping means that I already have this information in the previous and I'm just going to retrieve it here. So as I click on this, it is showing me the previous step. This is the email address and this is known as mapping. Why is mapping important? Because if I had written this manually, so every time my workflow would have done, it would have taken the manually written data only. It would have never taken the new data into consideration. That is why it is important to map. Once this is done, now the CC, BCC, if you want to enter, you can do that. Then we have the sender's name. So let's say it is public connect. Okay, now this information is not going to change like the name of the company is not going to change. So that's why I have written this manually. If, if you would want to map this, you can do that. Now, let me come down. As I scroll down, here we have the email subject. Let's say I'm writing registration successful. This is my email subject. Now reply to email content type. So this is plain. And then we have the email content. So here I'm going to write dear. Now I have to map the name of the person. So I go to previous step. And this here is the name of the person. So see here we can see first name and last name. So if you only wish to have the first name, you can just write this. I want to have the entire name, like the complete name. So I'm going to take the first name put a space bar and then I'm going to take the last name. So my message is thank you for registering. We will get back to you shortly. You can visit the nearest center for the documentation regards. So once this is done, now if I wish to add a file name and an attachment, I can always do that. I'm just going to leave it blank. Click on save and send test request. As I do that here, you can see that we have received the API response, which says that the mail has been sent. Now I'm going to take you to the email address of the person. Okay, so we are going to wait for a few seconds over here. Let's refresh the page. And yes, here you can see that we have received our mail, which basically means that this integration process is a success. But we also need to check this in real time. So I'm going to take you back to Jot form. And I'm going to fill up this form once again. Let's say the name is test, last name is user, then the email address is testuser at pablitudes.com. Then we have the phone number, which is this, the subject chosen, this time it is German. Okay, now I'm going to click on submit. As I do that, the form has been submitted. And now I'm going to take you back to the email address. And let's go back. And yes, here we have received the mail. Dear test user, this is the mail. This means that our connection is all set. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect to understand what we have done. So this is an extremely easy integration where our trigger is jot form and the event is new response. Our action application is Gmail where the event is sent email. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start processing immediately. If in case you have any particular integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.